4 divided by sum of the ratio. When you add all 3, 4, 5, what you will get? 12. So take the divide by 12. First ratio B value is 4. In the second ratio B value is 2. They are not same. Then 3 by 12 into total. Then 4 by 12 into total. Then 5 by 12 into total gives you 3 different parts. What I will do? I will use the sum of ratios. What is sum of ratio of wages? Voice ratio is 2. 2x we assume. 2x means 2 into x. That is 2 into 15. 2 into 15 is what? 30. So men. Welcome to the session dear students. Today we will go ahead with ratios and proportions. So now two mark questions. Dear students, the same questions as have been also appeared for three marks. So I can call this as two markers or three markers. So now divide rupees 1275 among A, B and C so that A is to B is 3 is to 4 and B is to C is 2 is to 5. So now observe they gave A is to B. What is A is to B given? A is to B is 3 is to 4. But see B is to C. What is B is to C given? B is to C is 2 is to 5. Dear student, in the first ratio, B is what? 4. Second one. Here B is what? 2. In the first ratio, B value is 4. In the second ratio, B value is 2. They are not same. First our task is to make them same. So to make them same, multiply the B is to C with 2. I will multiply this with what? 2. Multiply this with 2. Second ratio, then B is to C new value is we 2 2 is a 4 is to 2 5 is a 10. So after you multiply, you got new value of B. First they gave A is to B. I'll write that A is to B is 3 is to 4. And then they gave B is to C. After you multiply, they gave B is to C 2 is to 5. I multiplied 2 for each term. 2 2 is a 4, 2 5 is a 10. So now it became 4 by 10. Why I should multiply by 2 only? Because my B value was 4. In the first ratio b is 4 to make it 4 to make 2 as 4 uh, because b means first element i want to make this 4 how to make this 4 to make this 4 i should multiply 2 to this so multiply the whole ratio with 2 2 2 is a 4 and 2 5 is a 10 now new value of b is to c is 4 is to 10 so now you can see b is same so directly write a is to b is to c a is to b is to c what is a value 3 is to what is b value 4 is to what is c value 10 so 3, 4, 10. Now going to divide. So now first find sum of the ratio. So sum of the ratio. Sum of the ratio. That is 3, 4, 10. That is 3 plus 4 plus 10. That gives you 17. So now A gets. What is the ratio of C? A is to B is to C. They give. What is A is to B is to C? So we got 3, 4, 10. 3 is to 4 is to 10. And A gets his ratio is what? 3 by total sum of the ratio 17. And you have to divide how much? You have to divide 1275 rupees. So into total, total is 1275. Simplify this 17 ones are 17. 17 sevens are and reminder goes 5. So now 75 into 3 that will become 225. 3, 5 is a 15, 5, 1, 3, 7. Now, B gets, B gets, what is the ratio of B? 4 out of sum of the ratio. Sum of the ratio is 17 into total amount. Total amount is 1275. If I divide this, so 17, 1 is a 17, 17, 7 is a 5 is a 75. Are. So now, you simplify, if I multiply, 4 into 75, uh, 5, 4 is a 20, 0, 2. And 4, 7 are 28. 28 plus 2, 30, 300 rupees B gets. And C gets ratio of C is 10 by sum of the ratio into 1275. 17 ones are 17, 17 sevens are and 5s are. Okay, they're 750. So therefore, what is the conclusion? A gets rupees 225. B gets rupees. 300 and C gets rupees 750. If you add all, you will get 1225. Very interesting. First, they gave A is to B, 3 is to 4 and B is to C, they gave 2 is to 5. When you observe B, uh, values are not matching. Here B is 4, but here B is 2. So, I can make this 4 by multiplying 2. Common element, you can multiply for the ratio. Ratio means 2 is to 5. For 2 and 5, both you should multiply 2. So, 2 2 is a 4, 
satisfy two certain. Always when you want three terms, A is to B is to C, the middle term should have same value or any term should have same value. So, but here B values were different. One B was 4, one B was 2. To make this 4, I will multiply this by 2. So, 2 to the 4 by 2 to the 10. Now, B value B is to C becomes 4 is to 10. Then you can simplify. Let us start with second problem. Men, women and boys are employed in a factory in the ratio 3 is to 1 is to 2. They gave men, women and boys ratio. How much? 3 is to 1 is to 2. They have given here. 3 is to 1 is to 2. This is given. I am writing it. And further when you read. Wages of man, woman and boy are 4, 3, 2. 4 is to 3 is to 2. 45 men are employed. They mentioned 45 men are there. So total wages they told 1425. Find the daily wages paid to man, woman and boy. Now you need to find daily wages. So they gave men, women, boys in the ratio 3, 1, 2 and there are 45 men. So 45 men are given. So therefore first I will take let 3x comma 1x and 2x be men, women and boys. So now they told men is 45. So means 3x is 45 they give. 3x value is 45 that implies what is x? x is 45 by 3. 45 by 3 is 3 1s are 3 5s are. So x is equal to 45. You got sorry x is equal to 15 you got. From this you can get men, women and this. From this men is what? 3x that is 45 given. Women is what? From this you got x value. What is x value? You got 15. So women is what? From the ratio you got women. Women is what? 1x. So 1x means 15. And boys. Boys is how much? How many boys are there? Boys ratio is 2. 2x we assume. 2x means 2 into x. That is 2 into 15. 2 into 15 is what? 30. So men 45. Men 45. Women 15. And boys 30. This is known fact. Now wages they give. So now they give wages. Ratio of wages is given. What is the ratio of wages? 4, 3, 2. Wages are in the ratio 4 is to 3 is to 2. So now ratio is this. So total ratio is there. Total wages is also given. So now therefore 4x comma 3x and 2x be the wages be the wages for men, women and boys. So dear students we don't have one man. We have uh, 45 men. So total wages sum of the 45 men into 4x plus how many women? 15 women into what? The ratio of women, ratio of women is 3x plus 30 boys into 2x is equal to total wages. When you read the question, total wages is 1425. What is the total wages they give? 1425, equate it to 1425. Simplify, 4 5 is a 20, 4 4 is a 60, 180x plus 15 3 is a 45x plus 60x is equal to 14 25. Simplify this. This will become 105, 100, 205, 285. X is equal to 14, 25. Now get the value of x. What is value of x? 14, 25 divided by 285. 2, 3 is a so 1400 is there. 3 and 3, 4 is a, Okay, we will try with the 285 into 5. 5 5 is a 25 2, 5 8 is a 40, 40 plus 2, 42, 5 2 is a 10 plus 2, 14, 25, yes, 22, 85, 5 is a, so you will get x is 5, x you got 5, therefore we want men's wages is what, 4x, so for men you will get 4x, 4 into this uh, 5, so you got x value, 140, so we got 285 divided by x you got, so 4x, like that you can divide and right now therefore men gets how much is the men's ratio 45 times 4x 45 into 4x that is uh, 45 into 4 is 180x 180x x you got 180 into what is the x value you got 5 all the men put together will get 0 900 rupees and women gets 
women gets uh, what is the ratio? Fifty. They, we have fifteen women, and they'll get the ratio of for two x, three x. That is fifteen women into three. Forty five into x is what? Five. Five five is a twenty five two. Five four is a twenty two twenty five. And boys gets all the boys gets wages of uh, boys ratio is two x. Two into what is the ratio? Thirty boys are there. Thirty into two x. That is thirty into two times five. So thirty into ten, three hundred rupees. Uh, men, all the men put together, they get nine hundred rupees. But per men, they'll get how much? One uh, eighty x. Uh, per men, see, per men means four x, twenty rupees. Per men, twenty rupees. So per men, so one man gets how much? According to the ratio, four x. Four into five, twenty. One woman gets. One x that is five rupees. One boy gets, boy gets two x that is two into five ten rupees. Per man twenty rupees. Per woman five rupees. Per boy ten rupees. This is the ratio because four x three x five x. So it's a one one of the good questions where two ratios are given. Carefully you should solve. The ratio of age of father to the son is five to three. After ten years, the ratio of their ages will be three to two. Find their present ages. So we don't know the present ages. So ratios they give. Ratio of present ages is what? Ratio they give five to three. Therefore, let five x and three x be the present age. Present age of father and son. Is our assumption. So after ten years, so they give after ten years. So after ten years means what? For five x, father age also will become five x plus ten. Son age becomes three x plus ten. Ratio means divided by e is. So after ten years, the ratio becomes three is to two. Ratio means divided by equated to three is to two means three by two. Now simplify this. Cross multiply. Bring two to this side. So it becomes two into five x plus ten is equal to three into three x plus ten. So that is 10x plus 20 is equal to 9x plus 30. Simplify this. So 10x plus 20 is equal to 9x plus 30. Rearrange this. So 10x minus 9x is equal to 30 minus 20. So that is x is equal to 10. What x is 10? So therefore present ages. So present father's age. What we assume present father age five x is five x that is five into what is x equal to ten fifty years fifty years and similarly son age present son age is three x that is three into ten thirty years so these are the answers the one father age and son age son age is thirty and father age is fifty then divide. Thousand eight hundred in the ratio three is to four is to five. Simple. First find sum of the ratio. First find sum of the ratio. What is the sum of the ratio? Three plus four plus five. That is twelve. Now divide it. So now first part. First part is what is the first value of the ratio? In the ratio, the first number is three divided by sum of the ratio. What is sum of the ratio? Twelve. Into total amount to be divided. What is the amount you want to divide? Thousand eight hundred. Thousand eight hundred. Simplify this. So now divide it. Twelve ones are twelve. Twelve ones are twelve. Sixty. Twelve five are sixty. Zero. So now multiply this. If you multiply, three into one fifty. Fifteen three is a forty four. Four fifty rupees. First part is four fifty rupees. Second part. What is the second value of the ratio? What is the second value? First one we have done. So now second value is what four. So take that four divided by sum of the ratio. When you add all three, four, five, what you'll get? Twelve. So take that divide by twelve into what? Thousand eight hundred. Already we divided twelve ones are twelve. One fifty is a. Twelve ones are twelve. One fifty is a. So multiply. One fifty into four. Fifteen four is a. Fifteen five is a. Seventy. Sorry, fifteen into four. Fifteen four is a 
60 so it becomes 600 third part is remaining amount remaining amount you can subtract so total uh, 1050 minus 800 1800 if you do also you will get our the last ratio what is the last ratio 5 5 by 12 into what 1800 is equals to so 12 ones are 12 12 one five zero so simplify this so 15 five are 75 750 we add all these things 750 plus 50 800 800 1200 1800 these are the three parts so if you want to divide first you should find the sum of the ratio 3 plus 4 plus 5 gives you 12 then 3 by 12 into total then 4 by 12 into total then 5 by 12 into total gives you three different parts and this kind of problems we have done also so and then x is to y is 3 is to 4 so x by y they give 3 by 4 and they want 2x square plus 3y square by x square plus y square. So dear students, when you want to simplify, we have two variables, x and y. So find one variable in terms of other variable. Either you find y in terms of x or x in terms of y. I'll get x value. Transfer y that side. So y is equal to 3 by 4 times. Uh, sorry, x is equal to 3 by 4 times. Y can I write? I'll transfer divided by y to RHS. It will come into y. Now you got x value. So substitute this. So take what is given. What do they want? They want 2x square plus... 3y square by x square plus y square. So now substitute. So let's x value. What is x value? 3y by 4. In the place of x put value of x. What is value of x? 3 by 4y, the whole square plus 3y square divided by x square. What is x square? 3 by y whole square plus y square. Simplify this. So that will become 2 into 3 square is 9 by 16y square plus 3y square by denominator 3 square is 9 and y square by 4 square is 16 plus y square so 9 twos are here we have 2 into so 9 twos are 18 18 y square by 16 plus 3y square divided by 9y square by 16 plus y square now simplify this. So numerator if you take LCM, LCM is 16. So it will become 18y square plus 16 into 3. 3 6 uh, 48y square. By denominator also you take LCM. So it will become 16 9y square plus 16y square. So you can cancel 16. So 48 plus 18. 48 plus 10, 58. 58 plus 8. 66y square by 25 y square so y square y square cancels it will be 66 by 25 that's it 66 by 25 hope all of you understood the problems please sit and revise the problems here every problem is important thanks for attending thank you